Good morning. It was raining last night and it was actually one of the few times I was fine for it raining. Like the rain was hitting the roof of the van and I found it quite relaxing and it's not raining now so win-win. I wouldn't normally film straight away first thing in the morning. I'd normally like go to the loo or something but day 17 of living in a van and can you see that on there? Charlie's written open ASAP in the morning. So let's see what today's sub challenge for the day is. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that I have to open this ASAP. On the hour, every hour today, until you go to sleep, you need to do five star jumps, touch your toes and shout, it's coming home. I'm in the middle of a campsite with people sleeping, Charlie. Thank God we won the football yesterday, Charlie. We're off to see Robbie Knox today, which I'm quite looking forward to, because every time I've taken Robbie on in a challenge, I've won. We did the step battle a little while ago, beat him at that, and I've welly wanged against him twice beat him then so yeah quite looking forward to this one feeling confident confident that I'm gonna get a big old dub today right let's get on with the day Charlie I hate this challenge every time I've gone to do it there's been someone I'll do it in a moment I'll do it in a moment It's coming home. There we go. See? There you go. You made me feel really silly doing that. Okay, here I am. It's Hello. It's only bloody Robbie Knox. <laughs> How are we doing, viewers of John? We're at your house, although, do you mind me saying, you said that this isn't going to be where you are for, for very yeah, long. Yeah, moving, moving away, moving to Norwich in the summer. So this is uh, going to be gone. You love Norwich, don't you? I do love Norwich. Norwich is the best city in Britain. <laughs> One of the best, I don't know what you're laughing at. One of the best in Europe. Like. I can see an argument, people might say that Barcelona's as good as Norwich. Well, I'm quite a fan of York. York's great. Yeah. York's the Norwich of the North. <laughs> York is the Norwich of the I North. Think. I think. Yeah, I've been to York. I think it has a similar sort of vibe. Nice old stuff, lots of pubs. Do you know what I love about like Norwich and York, and even my parents, um, although they've just moved, but where I grew up, Cambridge, they all have the same fact about them, and it can't be true of all of them. In every single one you go to, they go, oh, did you know there's 365 pubs here? And yeah. that's the fact Is for fact? every city in the Do UK, apparently. Do they also apparently. boast about the number of churches? Because Norwich does that. I don't know, I don't think so. So Norwich apparently had 52 churches, one for every week, and 365 pubs, one for every day. And there are a lot of pubs. I like that you got the, the smoker there as well. That's where you smoke the fatties. That's where it? I smoke fatties, <laughs> yeah, so to speak. Yep, yeah. Got that there, got the trampoline. Been on the trampoline. Uh, this is a tree that's got pear rust. Always right. meant to destroy it. That'd be a good video, destroying a tree. Like a reverse Mr. Yeah. Beast. The tree behind is a plum tree. Yeah. And what it basically has, it has, it has plums, but they're, they're really hard, not ripe. Right. For ages. And then they're good for like an hour. There's a 30 minute window <laughs> where they are the best plums you will ever have. Yeah. And then after that, they're this resort, rotting, um, wasp filled mess and, and if you get a plum I, every year I reckon I get five plums from yeah. it because the window is so short every time we meet up we talk about this but I've, I've been, we've been deprived of it for a while have you missed skiing this year? yeah very much so yeah yeah it's first year I haven't been for ages um, but I reckon mate, if I can get before Christmas to Scotland for a day, then technically I won't have skied <laughs> every year because I managed two trips before pandemic in 2020. Wait, what skiing on Ben Nevis or? I don't know where, anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere that you can ski, yeah. We were talking like about doing like a big YouTuber yeah. ski trip at some point. I want it to happen, it's just unfortunately there's a pandemic on yeah. really about we it. We need to like, we make happen. We yeah. need to make that happen. I was speaking to Callum Markey yesterday as well and he was, apparently he's, he's a keen skier as well. Brilliant, it's happening. So it's happening. It Fosh is, is going to be great. Fosh I reckon Fosh will be Fosh, good. So they'll, they'll, they learn to ski at birth. In fact, I once said it to Fosh and he sort of like, 
gave me a look that made me think, oh, he he's good. Oh, he's going to be. And yeah. he's, he's not only good at skiing, but he's going to have that really graceful technique. Yeah. Whereas me, I'm all right at skiing, but I'm also look like I'm about to crash every minute and have my skis my legs mild apart. You've done, you're living the dream right now. I've started a brewery. You've That's started yeah. a brewery. Like that is the most exciting thing. Yeah, it is. And and it's the like beer, the, dream. the beer went on, a, it went on pre-sale for two days, but the day the beer got launched, was one day short of a year from the first time I launched a beer, I brewed a beer in my kitchen. Isn't it funny how something like there being lockdown, so you're thinking I'm going to just brew a beer, can turn into now you've started a brewery? Like it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's something to do, and I think I think far too many jobs people aren't allowed to do because they have no qualifications or ability to do them. And I think that's unfair. Why should only heart surgeons be able to do heart surgery? I mean, you should be able to mix it up a bit. That's so, true. And I think. There's a lot of mystery around doing things. Whereas most people don't know anything. You guarantee, like, Barack Obama would have gone into the White House and gone, I don't know how to be president. No, of what course you do. No, yeah, no of one course. knows how, how to would do you? stuff. Yeah. So I think if you're honest and you go on the journey and you, we can just say, we don't know about this, but we'll try and find out. You were telling me that you, you've got a trampoline over here. So yeah, I've got a game for us. You've so got basically, a game. kids' trampoline, I use it as much as them. There's a basketball hoop on there. Too easy just to get it in the no, hoop. Presumably you could just... You could just dunk it in or... If, yeah. So what you do is combine the trampoline in this place where you jump on your bottom and then when you're at the bottom of your bounce, that's when you have to take your shot. So you have to shoot as your bum touches yeah. the trampoline. I'll show you. Let's have a little go. What's going on here? What so are those? Crocs, um, perfect indoor outdoor shoe. Wouldn't, I know that they get a lot of hate. I wouldn't wear them out of the town, but they're great for going in and out, taking the bins out, very on brand. All that sort of stuff, very good. So we're in here, we'll get rid of the other things. Flat ball, which makes it more exciting. Get rid of that pair. So what you're doing, you're just bouncing. And then on your bottom, that's when you take your shot. And it's gone over. Right, okay. So how are we going to do this then? How are we going to make this? So I reckon 10 shots. 10 shots, whoever gets the most. And if not, sudden death. And if, if you draw. Done. Oh, right, okay. Too much power in it. Too much, Too power. much power. It's all right, I've got another one for you. Shot two. Oh, there we go. Shot three. Oh, we've learned how to rest of it. Oh. Oh. There we go, right. Five to beat. I bet I missed the first five now, and it goes to, yeah. That'd be amazing. I hope you do. Want to jump? Do it safe, one at a time. Yeah, important. Oh. Right, so on five to beat. A lot of pressure here. Oh. Nope. Not from five. There we go. Hold your Is that in? No. Oh. Is that in? Yeah, three from ten. I'm not pleased with it. Let's see if I can. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> smashed that. I'm pretty pleased with that. After two welly wanging defeats and a step challenge defeat, I'm pretty pleased I've regained some dignity with the sport that I've invented in my own garden to play <laughs> regularly with my kids, but not when you've never played. So I have a feel proud. I sincerely thought that I was sort of guaranteed a win today because of the previous. You also once challenged me to throw fruit over my house, and I managed to do that as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, yeah. um, should we get some lunch? Let's get some lunch, right. Robbie, is it okay that, you know, you've started a brewery, but you're having a rosé? Absolutely fine. I'm <laughs> yeah. abs absolutely comfortable. Wine's a lovely drink. And I've, I'm quite happy to enjoy it in the cloudy countryside. This is very, this is very picturesque. Is this your local or? It's a local. A I'm local. not here. Yeah. It's, it's more of a sort of, it's not really a local pub. It's more of a sort of out of town. So we've sort of hatched a plan for this evening. Um, are you there? Yeah, yes. sort, of, sort of hatched a plan for this evening where 
I'm going to camp on your drive. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that <laughs> so, works. So, so that we can go to the pub. Yeah. So if this video is late coming out tomorrow, <laughs> that's yeah. why. Yeah. It's absolutely fine. You can do some laundry as well if you want. Yeah. I'll be by the bins. I'll be by the <laughs> famous <laughs> bins. <laughs> I've got to take it today, so won't be much there. <laughs> Robbie, you very kindly just sorted me out with lunch then. Thank you very much for wow, that. You've got, you've got to look out for someone who lives out of a van. You've got to make sure <laughs> I very much appreciate that. Um, I do have a slight sort of bone to pick with you though. Okay. It's um, weird after I brought you lunch. Yeah, but you did also... Did you give Dan Trail for my number? I would have thought so. I don't know how Dan got my number, so God knows. What's his deal? a friend at BT or something. What's up with him, is he? Is it wrong then? Did he Absolute get wrong dropped on his head or something? Or? I don't know, I think his mum definitely smoked while she was pregnant. <laughs> so John was going to spend the night at a campsite, but I thought, well, I've got a perfectly good driveway. We just stay in the driveway, so he's going to live in the driveway for the night. I'll make him make a bacon roll in the morning or something, because I'm quite nice like that. Anyway, let's go turn up now. There he is. No, nothing, mate. Sure. Yeah, just in there. Well, which one it is. He's absolutely driven past the house. He's missed the house by at least 100 metres there. Let's stop. Missed the house by about 100 metres there. <laughs> yeah, I sort of just forgot where it was. That seems right. Dart? <sighs> yes! So, I'm gonna be like camping on Robbie's drive tonight, which you know, saves on a, a pitch fee. And I'm now washing my clothes. I, th I feel like, <laughs> I feel like taking the piss a little bit, but you know, he offered. It's coming home. I haven't filmed that much recently. I hope that's okay. Um, I'm round at Robbie's house at the moment and his like kids and family are around. So I didn't want to be like, t can you hear that? That's bath time. I didn't want to be too intrusive. So I've not filmed that much, but me and Robbie are gonna go to the pub now. Probably won't film that much there, but um, gonna go gorilla and maybe film some bits on the phone. But yeah, chaos, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you but it's been really lovely being here today. And I hate to say this, London, you were lovely. Everyone I met in London was lovely, but I'm so glad to be out of London, like genuinely. It taking an hour to travel and meet everyone was a ball ache. I think now I'm just gonna travel to places I wanna see. I think I wanna see the coast tomorrow. I'm gonna try and see the coast. Cue montage of me and Robbie in the pub, I guess. Montage, always montage. Cue the montage. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've been to the pub with Robbie this evening. And by pub, I mean four pubs. So I'm not sure that I am actually in the best position to finish this video off. So um, here is a collection of the best attempts at Charlie's Challenge that I did over the course of the last 12 hours or so. Enjoy. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. There we go. Don't be a dick.